Hi you guys, how are you doing? I know I have really bad lightning now, I'm up by the lake and it's getting dark, uh, but I just really had to make this video now. The video I, like the second part of the video on the channeling will be uh, made quite soon about the Akashic Records and how that relates to the energetic shift we have had. But right now I just need to make a video on a different topic because there's one thing that has been coming or two things that has been coming up again and again and again the last two weeks and this has been in for you know in people reaching out to me uh like in uh, sharing things after like watching the videos it's been coming up in several sessions it's been coming up in conversations i've been having and i just need to comment on it <laughs> and i need to do it now uh we have this thing in the spiritual community of believing that we are not good enough and i mean all people have that but we are perpetuating that in the spiritual community in ways that we really need to change because we wrap it into spiritual beliefs and wrap it sort of into either judging ourselves and you know having the excuses for that to be sort of right criticizing ourselves or we are just keeping ourselves in the same healing loop. Now, when I was on my healing journey, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I was on a between nine and 10 years, uh, well, 10, I'll say, <laughs> a healing journey from CFS and Lyme disease, lots of pain, uh, heavy, heavy fatigue for years. Um, so I've been I've been moving through, you know, a lot of stages on the healing journey. And one of the realizations that I had several times on, on my healing journey is that by, and I know I've said this in, in videos before, but I really hope it can reach some more people right now because it's so, so important. If we think that you need to heal yourself, you are perpetuating a belief that there is something wrong with you that there is something you need to fix about yourself now we don't want to be in denial we don't want to be escaping what is the actual experience that we are having if you're actually in a lot of physical pain you can't pretend that you're not you have to deal with what are, is arising to heal and there are there is a real healing journey but if we have an underlying belief that there is something wrong with us we will keep ourselves in that loop trying to fix ourselves always looking for the next thing to fix about ourselves and that will keep us healing and healing and healing and waiting for that day when everything is okay, when we're good enough or when we're fixed and when we are, you know, when everything is good. That is something we need to become aware of right now in this community. We are Let me just have a moment. There is a lot of energy right here. Uh, there was something happening here only a few days ago, so it's very interesting that I am sitting at this exact spot because I didn't realize when I was sitting down. Um, I'm sorry, that distracted me a bit. <laughs> I'm coming back. Um, what I have practiced a lot the last half a year, because I've been going through a lot in my own life, lots of challenges. And I've been really practicing not f sort of falling into having to fix or heal constantly but i am living my life meanwhile i am dealing with what is arising 
moving through whatever is arising, taking a time out when I need it. Maybe that is two hours, maybe that is for, you know, some some days. Um, but being in joy at the same time, living our lives, not stopping our dreams, our lives, because we need to fix and to heal. Because that perpetuates the same reality being experienced again and again and again in that loop. Do you get what I mean? Do you recognize this in yourself? Now the other thing, because I, I just, <laughs> even though it's getting darker and darker, well, I hope you can at least get some nature, even though you don't see much of me. Um, I've had many people also saying that it's sort of like a fear of missing out or a feeling that they are behind because they don't have like um, a paranormal, quote unquote, paranormal experiences or can't hear their guides or um, uh, haven't had a Kundalini awakening or, you know, any of these kind of things. And I do understand where it comes from, but still, for example, hearing your guides doesn't mean that everything in your life is fixed. When I was in the deep dark of my own healing journey and I could hear guides and I could channel, I would be in moments where I could be like cursing them and almost like really being angry with them and saying like hey I need people I can talk with in real life I need I need my actual physical experience to shift like it, it doesn't matter whether you can bring another perspective yes it can feel good at some moments but still it doesn't change my physical experience and I need that to change and I need people in this physical life to talk with about these things like it it doesn't mean we very often have this comparison with others, especially if you listen to someone on YouTube or, uh, you know, on a reel or whatever, and they're saying these kind of experiences and they've had figured something out. Like, for example, I mean, myself, I don't have a, a huge channel and the things I say are normally things I have experienced or have channeled. I do have an understanding of it, but there's so much... I'm still not understanding. There's so much, like, I'm going through my own stuff constantly. Sometimes it's like everything is just like flowing and everything is aligned and it's just feeling amazing. And other times it's, it's not, <laughs> it's, it's all of it. And when we as humans and with our minds start to compare ourselves to others, we only see what others have figured out. We don't see everything that they haven't figured out yet. And we think that the answer is to figure out and the answer is not to figure out, you guys. The answer is to be present with you, knowing that you are good enough. There's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with you. You are just unconscious in some areas and we all are we don't know what we don't know until we know it and that goes for everyone absolutely everyone you guys let me just see if there's a bit more light here no it doesn't help <laughs> it does not help at all um oops sorry 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 um yeah, it's just, I think we really, really need to have more awareness of this in the spiritual community. It's, the comparison is so often used to perpetuate a self-criticizing, self-judging pattern. So rather than doing that in order to find out what's wrong so that you can fix yourself, 
you start to become aware of, oh, this is the pattern of judging myself. This is the pattern of criticizing myself. Now, this is something I am now becoming aware of. Yay, let's celebrate that and let's pop out of it. Because... We will constantly be be, be uh, becoming aware of something that we haven't been aware of previously. It is this human journey. And we can live and we can be in joy at the same time. Then something arises, we gain new awarenesses, we understand some patterns that haven't been <laughs> of our highest. <laughs> Um, we have experiences that are challenging uh, but the more we can be present the more we can accept the current reality just as it is in this exact moment the less we will suffer because the suffering comes from the way that we relate to it and this is a hard truth sometimes and I think this might be a bit triggering for people. Um, but I think we really, really need to look at it, this in the spiritual community. Really. Um, if we're attached to being a good person, and then we're being good because we are healing and because we're doing all this shadow work, for example. I, found, I realized that about myself. That I kept being very serious about my healing and kept being very good at healing rather than the other stuff I was good at before I got ill. That is something I had to change in order to heal myself. And we can live our lives at the same time as we are being present, allowing whatever needs to arise to our awareness to arise and have our reaction to it, have you know, our reflections, have our process with it and continue to move on with our lives. This is the journey that we are on. This is the this is the evolution. This is becoming more conscious. This is the shift in consciousness. It's not done from one day to another and we're not supposed to be in suffering while we do it. That is an old program and we really need to do some work to shift that because we are one of the main communities, I would say, perpetuating those beliefs. So if anything, I hope this video in the dark, <laughs> the sun is almost, almost gone, or the daylight is almost gone. I, I really hope that it can assist you in changing this in yourself if you have those programs running. Um, and and share it with others. Let us just get out of that old grip. Because yes, a lot of beliefs that we had 20 years ago did align, did they were true to a point in the energy we were at in at the time. But we are in a different energy now and we need to change things. And we will. But really question any attachment to healing and to being healed because that can be the exact specific thing that is hindering your own healing see you in the next video guys bye bye from the lake <laughs>